Hi, my name is Leah Day, and this is a video for leahday.com. I just recently got an impulse buy on eBay. It is a Viking 6570. I kind of, the reason why initially I looked at it when I was on eBay is because it was red, and red is my favorite color. Um, but then I started looking further and I realized that this was a cam sewing machine. Now a cam, uh, this is what we used to make decorative stitches before we did computerization. We had computerization in our sewing machines. And how it worked was the machine read these gears. And you can see there's different settings. Like there's pro this is probably a setting, the second one, third one, and then fourth one. There's four stitches per cam. You can see them here. They're all color coded and you can see them on the machine, what you can expect from the machine there too. And this is what we used before machines were computerized. Um, the gears would set the stitch, the needle, it would move the needle around and then your stitch width and your stitch length would determine what the stitch would look like. And I've been playing with this a little bit today. I made this little sample just trying out the different stitches. These first few uh, are all uh, come in the machine you can use whether you have a cam or not. Uh, but as you get further in, everything from here over, all of that was created with the cams. And I think that's just so neat. Um, you really get a very different stitch depending on your stitch width and length. Here I was playing with this uh, little wiggly stitch and you can see having a longer stitch width and a more narrow stitch uh, sorry, a longer stitch length and a more narrow stitch width produced a very different effect. So I think this is going to be just so much fun to play with and it gave me the idea just to start sharing about vintage sewing, sewing machines like this where, you know, this is something that was commonplace. Uh, I know that my grandmother had a Cam Singer sewing machine uh, and it was the way that machines were built. It's what you would expect to have that box of cams to go along with the machine, but now we don't a lot of people don't even know what they are um, or what they're looking at when they see them in a sewing box. Maybe somebody has left a sewing machine behind and then there's all these weird discs or something left over. So I look forward to sharing more about this. I've picked up a walking foot for it, a piecing foot, and a darning foot. I think that's going to free motion quilt beautifully. It has a gorgeous stitch. It's 100% mechanical. There's no computerization in it at all. So it really produces very, very beautiful stitches, and I think it's going to quilt really well. So I hope that you enjoy this new little mini-series. I'm going to have fun shooting and sharing with you, and of course, Leah loves machines. I'm always ready to find and play with new sewing machines in my studio. So until next time, let's go quilt. Let's go quilt.